and we're here for the last interview at the Mozilla Festival. You can hear behind me the loud sound of the party, the closing party. Uh, and I'm with uh, Brett Gaylor, a filmmaker and uh, director of Popcorn, which was a very, very uh, important tool in the festival. So first, uh, maybe you can tell us uh, briefly what is Popcorn for the few people maybe here sure. who don't know about it. Well, Popcorn Maker is our next generation video remixing app. So essentially what you can do with Popcorn Maker that's different from other video editors is you can actually bring uh, parts of the web into the video frame. So you might be familiar with editing uh, video or audio together in a sequence. With Popcorn Maker you can edit things like Wikipedia or Twitter or images on Flickr. So it's about pulling from all the content that's on the web into a video and making a, a new kind of dynamic video production. And Popcorn is, uh, Popcorn Maker is also open source now. Uh, yeah. and so if I want, if I'm a programmer, I can actually grab uh, the libraries and use the skins. Uh, is, that, is there a resource page? How is it done uh, for programmers to hack it? Is, how is it possible? Well, everything, on, uh, everything that was created for Popcorn Maker, all the code, is on GitHub. I mean, we're, Popcorn Maker is a really interesting product because it's really, one of, I think it's mo one of the most advanced web apps that's out there and it's really a product of this sort of GitHub culture of, of forking, of, of checking in different changes and of collaborating you know, around the world to create a piece of software. So, for instance, if you were a developer and you want to contribute to the project, all you have to do is, is, is fork the code uh, on GitHub, make your changes and then resubmit them back to us. Uh, if, if we accept your changes, we might have to work with you for a while, uh, but if we accept them, then the app is instantly updated. I mean, that's the beauty of, of making apps for the web, is that they can be as malleable as the rest of the web. As for storytelling tools, uh, we've heard about, heard about Ziga uh, today, yeah. uh, they are very active and very similar in many ways, and also Linklib uh, for, for uh, QR codes into uh, distributing uh, video links. Uh, how do you work with them? Do you think there's a collaborat collaborative way to go with uh, Popcorn? Oh, we do already collaborate. In fact, both of those uh, applications that you mentioned uh, use uh, the library that's underneath Popcorn Maker, which is called popcorn.js. So the JavaScript library that enables use, uh, developers to program events against time, they, they all use those. So. Uh, so what, what's the difference would be between all these, like CBW Doc, uh, like all these, what's the difference between all those and Popcorn, do you think? Well, there are many differences, but essentially those different apps are different layers of the software stack. So on the web, we talk about layers. We talk about the first layer being something like TCP IP, you know, the, the protocols that enable uh, uh, nodes on the internet to communicate between one another, and then you might have another layer that would be the browser, and then you might have another layer that would be JavaScript. So Ziga, apps like Hapiak, uh, Linklib, what they're all doing is taking advantage of our Popcorn JS library and making slightly different presentations that make sense for the users that they want to engage. So Ziga is a platform that's primarily uh, meant for documentary storytellers. Uh, Hapiak is for casual users. Linklib is for filmmakers who simply want to have a second screen experience on their tablet or on their phone. They're all really distinct things. If you, if you were to try and do them all at once, you'd fail, right? So having an open source library allows developers to make bespoke experiences that make sense for the audiences that they want to engage. With Popcorn Maker, our audience, we feel, is uh, anybody who wants to make things quickly on the web uh, right on top of a video. So we, we, we've really um, pointed our guns at, at that user experience. Ziga has a different user experience. Linklib has a different one. Um, these are the early days, so we're all experimenting, but we're experimenting together and we're sharing our work and our knowledge amongst one another. We talked earlier with Bobby Richter, uh, who is one of the leader architects uh, at Popcorn, and we were talking about exporting uh, uh, Popcorn uh, uh, templates and creations. Because for now, it's only metadata that you can e export. You still can't download right away for the end user anyway, uh, as a result. Is there in the next version an uh, easy option when I can click and download? Because that's really key for distribution. Not at all. I mean, we, our app is meant to be experienced on the web. In fact, it couldn't be experienced in the other way. You can't download something made with Popcorn Maker because it's dynamic. 
It's pulling tweets from around, from around, across the web. It's pulling Flickr images. It's pulling from Wikipedia. So to view it without the network would defeat the purpose. So we don't ever intend to make it available for download. We want you to be on the web. And we want you to think about what that video ex ex We call that web native cinema. But if you do that, you understand that you can't uh, uh, experience uh, outside your embed player uh, the uh, popcorn experience. Well, that's not to say that if somebody wants to modify that, we, we make all the source code of the exported project available, so if somebody wants to modify that, again, we encourage that. But the point is, it's not about downloading it. It's, it's, it's about watching it on the web. So, but if you download it, you change it, you put it back on the web and play it again, that, you might have something there. But it's, it's really not about watching it off of the network. This is, this is web native. And talking about web, uh, talking about mobile, uh, is there a popcorn mobile application? Oh yes, the Air Mozilla attacking us right now. Uh, talking about networks, he's coming to us now. All right, being attacked. Okay, that was a visit from the Air Mozilla balloon, uh, driven by uh, Zander over there. Uh, just for a question about mobile, is there a popcorn for mobile uh, coming soon? Yeah, actually, you can see them right there. Uh, they've actually made it work on tablets and mobile devices. Oh, they're packing it up. But yes, over this weekend, we've actually um, hacked that experience together so you can, so you can use Popcorn Maker. It, right now, you can view the experiences um, in Popcorn Maker 1.0, but until today, you haven't been able to create them. But they've, they've made that today o over the festival. All right. Uh, so just as a reminder, uh, website where you can all find all this experience. Yeah. Popcorn.webmaker.org. All right. Thank you so much, Brett, for talking to us. I saw Mark for Vision on TV. Thank you for watching.